first question a charged particle creates an electric field of magnitude 3 newton per coulomb at a point 0.8 meter away what is the difference in the field magnitude between that point and one at 0.4 meter so you have a charged particle so better i will draw the diagram for this question you have a charged particle let's we take the charged particle is this one at a distance of 0.8 meter what's the magnitude let's we take from the center to the distance let's we take this is r1 what is the r1 value 0.8 meter what is the magnitude of the electric field e1 which is equal to 300 newton per coulomb now we have to find what is the difference in field of magnitude so we are going to find what is the change in electric field we are going to find the value of change in electric field but how you can find the change in electrical field first of all we have to identify what should be the electric field at a distance 0.4 meter so from here to here let's we take this is our r2 and what's the value and this is 0.4 meter but we don't know what is the electrical field at this point so once we identify the electrical field at a distance of 0.4 meter we can easily find what is the change in electrical field or we can find the difference so the difference is nothing but the greater electrical field minus a smaller electrical field clear so generally you have to see the diagram whenever the distance get increased the electrical field get weaker so if you see this picture if you see this diagram our electrical field at a distance of 0.4 meter should be greater than your electrical field at a distance 0.8 meter so for this we are going to use the formula of electrical field due to a point charge so what is the formula the electrical field due to a point charge is given by k q over r square so i am going to use this formula for both cases what are the both cases e1 and r1 i am going to use this formula for e2 and r2 again i am going to use this formula and after i identify the value of e2 we are going to find what should be the value for change in electric field or changing means the difference so first i am going to apply this rule for e1 and r1 let's we take the electrical field 1 which is equal to k q over r1 square likewise i am going to apply the same rule for this distance therefore e2 which is equal to k q over r2 square let's we take this is our first equation and this is our second equation now we have to identify what should be the value of e2 so what i am going to do i am going to divide the equation 2 by equation 1 so if you divide first of all we have to divide the left hand side of the equation and then we have to divide the right hand side of the equation so first i am going to divide the left hand side e2 over e1 which is equal to k q over r2 square over k q over r1 square now we have to rearrange this equation if you rearrange what you will get e2 over e1 which is equal to k q over r2 square multiply by this r1 square will come, come to the numerator over k q so here the value of k multiplied by q get cancel so what is remaining in the equation e2 over e1 which is equal to r1 square over r2 square now our main aim to find the value of e2 so you have to again rearrange this equation in terms of electrical field 2 therefore e2 which is equal to actually all these are vector so here electrical vector quantity so e2 which is equal to e1 multiplied by r1 square over r2 square now i am going to substitute the value 
the E1 value they mentioned as 300 Newton, Newton per coulomb and R1 is 0 0.8 meter and R2 value is 0 0.4 meter we are going to find this value so now I am going to substitute these values in this equation by that we will get the value of E2 that means electrical field 2 at a distance of 0 0.4 meter so E1 300 multiplied by R1 square 0 0.8 square over 0 0.4 square gives the value of 300 multiplied by 0 0.8 square divided by 0 0.4 square so we got the answer as 1200 Newton per coulomb so this is the value of E2 but still we did not complete the question because they are asking about the difference in electrical field magnitude so we have to find what should be the difference value so the difference value in electrical field which is equal to the greater value of electrical field minus the smaller value of the electrical field because here our second electrical field E2 has the greater value so 1200 minus what's the value here we have we have the value of E1 is 300 so I'm going to substitute the value of E1 as 300 so the difference in electrical field the difference in field what field electrical field which is equal to 900 Newton per coulomb so this is the answer clear so generally when the distance get increased the field the electric field get weaker if the distance will be smaller the electrical field will be stronger that concept we used in this question clear